The CEO of HMSA has angered some lawmakers by saying the state's health connector should be shut down. Michael Gold says the state needs to stop spending money on a system that doesn't work. The Hawaii Health Connector was set up under Obamacare and has only enrolled 9,200 people. Our fallout now from the troubled Hawaii Health Connector. Hawaii News Now has learned the state is planning to spend another $100 million just to replace paper applications for welfare, food stamps, and health care. Hawaii taxpayers will be on the hook for millions of dollars to keep the Hawaii Health Connector going after the end of the year. Well, the Hawaii Health Connector has seen its share of criticism so far, but now it's being called out by the CEO of the state's largest health insurance company. HMSA's president, Michael Gold, says the connector should be shut down because it's unsustainable and doesn't work. Hawaii's Health Connector is one of six states being investigated right now by the Government Accountability Office. This is according to a state, to state Senator Sam Sloan. The office will look into the use of the Connector's $200 million in federal funds. The State Human Services Department says it will ask state lawmakers for $4.5 million next year to keep the exchange afloat.